What's up guys, welcome to top five niches of the week. I've got five new print on demand niches for you to target to increase your sales in the next week. And I got a little treat for you. I basically refreshed the whole series. So hopefully today's episode has a nice clean, new look and feel. So let's get right to it. So to get started, I'm gonna provide some motivation by showing my seven day Amazon merch sales. So from December 4th to December 11th, I did 1,020 sales on Amazon Merch. 822 came in the US market, bringing in almost $3,800 in royalties, uh, 105 sales in the UK, and then the rest, uh, really not that much, less than 30 in Germany, France, Italy, Spain, and Japan. By the way, if you wanna follow me on social media, <laughs> I don't know what happened to my Instagram, by the way. I got home last Saturday, and it was like, verify your identity so i did that they made me take a picture of myself holding a, a, a number and then they permanently suspended me <laughs> i have absolutely no clue what is up with instagram if you guys have ever dealt with this and know how to get your account back please let me know uh because i was posting daily sales updates to my instagram and now i can't do that anymore so i don't know what to do uh anyways <laughs> if i start a new one i'll let you guys know but hopefully i don't have to do that all right let's get to these top five niches niche number one is gonna be in the Christmas niche. Yep, you guessed it. And it is the, this is too hot, or this is my, it's too hot for ugly Christmas sweaters. All right, it's too hot for ugly Christmas sweaters. So the whole point is that it's gonna be sold on a t-shirt. And obviously, you know, I I, had, I wore a Christmas sweater all day yesterday, by the way. Uh, it had a little pocket on the front so I could put my, my drink in there, uh, pretty nifty. And it, you know what? It did get pretty hot in the Christmas sweater. So I get it. This is why people wear Christmas sweater t-shirts. And it makes sense. We also know that standard t-shirts are the best-selling product on Amazon Merch. So, hey, no surprise. Look at these BSRs. 3,900, 9,300, 11,000, 23,000, 23,000. I mean, the, the number 12th bestseller right here, 111,000. Uh, and notice lots of different design styles. I actually really like the ones that are in the Christmas tree shape. Um, probably takes a little bit of extra time and effort, but uh, I think it looks really nice and goes right with the Christmas theme. If we take a closer look at this niche, you'll notice number one, the chart at the top there, that is BSR. Uh, and the lower the BSR goes, the higher the demand, the more sales this shirt is making. By the way, shout out to Podly. Recently, I kind of did an audit of all of the print on demand research tools, and I really like theirs for a number of reasons. I may just do a dedicated video to it if you guys are interested, but I mean, for one, take a look. Uh, the keywords that they provide you, they give you, uh, basically kind of broad match keywords there you see under all keywords focused keywords so kind of high importance keywords and then right here long tail keywords this can represent right here i'm pointing to it on my reverse green screen point over my shoulder uh, the long tail keywords though can really represent opportunities if you have access to ads to target specific queries uh, with you providing very specific sets of keywords that's why we call them long tail and potentially getting some cheap visibility all right, not just bidding, you know, a couple dollars per click on the really high competitive uh, keywords, but this can be a great way of getting some additional visibility as well and training the algorithm on what it is exactly that you're selling because of course, sales really are what lead to an increase in organic rank as the algorithm uh, learns to trust exactly what it is that you're selling and associate them with specific search queries that customers are typing into the search bar. Niche number two. And niche number two is video games, all right? It had to be video games. I know it's broad. I know it's broad. There's so many ways to sell in the video game niche. You'll notice over there at the number seven spot, uh, there's a shirt that says, most likely to play video games on Christmas. It actually doesn't say games. It says video game on Christmas, which is interesting. It just kind of goes to show you, you can get a 30,000 BSR with a design that doesn't even really make that much sense. It's got uh, grammar errors, so... <laughs> On Amazon, people just, they, they just buy whatever, you know what I mean? Especially in the fourth quarter, the sales are absolutely crazy. And uh, I think you can definitely improve upon that design over there in the number seven spot. But that's a nice intersection of two trends. You have Christmas, you have video games. You know, it used to be that you got video games for Christmas. At least I know I did. Now people are getting their video games and they're getting a shirt that talks about how much they love to play video games. So it makes a lot of sense. Um, there's definitely opportunity and you can niche down and cross niche. Maybe instead of doing Christmas plus video games, do Christmas plus video games plus something else, plus plus brother, you know what I mean? Or plus sister, something like that, you know what I mean? And get further and further, uh, get more and more specific basically um, with your niche selection. 
by the way i wanted to show that like the number one bestseller we've seen this design before all right it's a proven design template it says my perfect day wake up video games breakfast video games lunch video games dinner video games sleep just kidding play video games all night so somebody went and they grabbed a pixelated font so kind of like the 8-bit old school video games we kind of associate that with video game designs uh creative fabrica has one called literally called pixel font all right so just wanted to give creative fabrica a shout out i know a ton of my subscribers are already using them but in case you're not already using it i can give you a link that'll give you a free trial so you can if you want to go make video game designs hey by the way the pixel font does really well as evidenced by the number one bestseller with a 6000 bsr on amazon also a closer in-depth look from podly all right podly that's that might be the new app that i use for these top five niches of the week videos i mean it's got a really slick ui uh their data is fresh all right they're constantly data mining amazon is really what happens then they create their own kind of parallel database and uh, i've been really enjoying it like i said i kind of did an audit of all the tools compared them side by side by side i've really been liking podly so let me know what you guys think all right niche number three today and before we get there just wanted to remind you guys i have a free print on demand mini course it's delivered via email if you want to take advantage of it all i need is your email address you can find a link in the description and i've got a great print on demand facebook group so check that out it is linked in the description so niche number three today is meowdy all right this is just a sub niche of cat shirts cat shirts sell extremely well year round and you know if it sells year round then during christmas all the cat lovers are getting cat t-shirts cat pop sockets cat phone cases gifted to them from friends and family of course but here's a great example of cats plus cross niche with something now it popped up on my radar because of that number one bestseller that you see there it just says meowdy it's got a cat with a um uh, cowboy hat on it which by the way like doesn't take a ton of graphic design skills if you can get access to a, a hat graphic to put it over the top of a uh, cat face graphic again creative fabrica probably make this real easy to do you've got the one word design by the way anytime that you have one word associated with the design here's something that gets overlooked this is something that i was talking a lot about in my private community recently this past week it's that when you really niche down not only do you often reduce competition a little bit, but you also know exactly what keywords to optimize for in your SEO. And then if you have access to ads, you also know exactly what keywords to uh, target in your ads. So it can make your life a lot easier because the algorithm knows exactly what it is that you're selling. So then all you have to worry about is, is your design good enough? And are you in a complete, you know, is the niche gonna get completely saturated? Which I, I mean, these things evolve with time, but uh, the meowdy niche i just thought was a great example of something that makes sense it's selling really well it's funny cat lovers love it cross niching with <laughs> i mean cowboy hats who knows who, who cares really it's a cat shirt so um yeah and then the the highest value keywords i'm sure associated with this would be like funny cat shirt you know what i mean <laughs> but funny cat shirt i'm sure you probably you probably be paying like two dollars a click if i had to guess on amazon for that because it's so high value to rank number one organically on that niche number four today and this is another one that popped up on my radar from the research tool from podly it's not easy being my wife's arm candy all right now there is a ton of shirts that are selling as well as this niche behind me this is just one that i don't think i'd seen before i think it's funny we know why people are buying this shirt you know what i mean just a quick easy probably christmas gift at this point but maybe they're just giving it you know maybe it's a december birthday shirt or an anniversary uh shirt to be gifted from i'm assuming the wife to the husband it's not easy being my wife's arm candy hilarious right simple text only design lots of nice vibrant color schemes by the way if your designs aren't at least this good as the ones behind me keep in mind these are text only uh then please like <laughs> take a look just just hit pause and look at how they're going about designing these you know what i mean distressed font often big bold easy to read sometimes they use nice color schemes you don't have to overthink it this is this should be pretty easy to execute all right sometimes you can put a box over the text like you see i'm pointing to the number four shirt over my shoulder uh, they put a box over the word easy that draws emphasis to the word easy um you know and you could consider doing that for arm candy as well easy arm candy i don't know anyways guys uh niche number four i just thought that was a nice one that you know i mean you can look at each shirt by the way this data is available on amazon it's available on podly you can look at when each shirt was up uploaded and you can kind of get a, a insights into is this an emerging trend has it been around for a while the bsr uh, and price history by the way is charted right here you can actually scroll out to where it says all time you see the button up there it says all time you can click that and you can see when these shirts were uploaded the only thing is you have to click it on each one actually with podly what's really cool uh is you can hover over the designs in in their um 
their app, your you know, their niche research app, and it'll actually like pop out the chart for you as you hover over it, assuming you're on a desktop computer. So pretty cool functionality. Like I said, really nice UI, probably the best UI of any tool. Just being honest, you know what I mean? Uh, you can see the keywords again. So, all right, niche number five today. And it is who tooted, all right? It is a train shirt and it says who tooted. When I see designs like this, I love it because I know exactly what the keywords are to associate with the designs. The designs aren't that hard to execute. You see a lot of them are um, the kind of vintage retro sunset style designs, which of course, shout out to all sunsets. I always put a link in the description because I've made so many thousands of sales, literally thousands using their sunsets all right it's so easy there's so many ways to go about designing utilizing the sunsets and many of those ways to go about designing using the sunsets you can see in this screenshot behind me of the top 10 best sellers so anyways train shirts there are train lovers plenty of people love trains this is like a funny uh funny train shirt obviously the primary keywords you'd want to be ranked on but who tooted who tooted train shirt you know what i mean pretty simple pretty straightforward sets of keywords to um to provide to the algorithm because guys if you haven't made a sale yet the algorithm really doesn't know what it is you're selling they see your title they see your bullets they see your description but what if you're lying <laughs> you know what i mean what if you're lying well again the only way they really know and you might not be lying people may just not like your design but it's through monitoring things like click-through rate and then beyond there conversion rate uh so these things matter you know what i mean and, and everything's quantified and measured on the internet especially on amazon you know what i mean with billions and billions of dollars going through their platform all right emerging trends these are uh shirts that have seen a significant jump in bsr recently so if you want to take a quick look candy cane crew um some of these are like you know typical bestsellers you know guess what chicken butt my perfect day video games etc all right looking ahead if you want to sell shirts or print on demand products in general related to random holidays so we have January 11th, National Take the Stairs Day. I love taking the stairs. January 12th, National Hot Tea Day. January 13th, Blame Someone Else Day. January 14th, Dress Up Your Pet Day. And January 15th, National Bagel Day. I do love me some bagels, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I like to work out before I eat any uh, anything like that though, heavy carbs. All right, the archive. This is a nice little additional segment brought to you, made possible by Podly, who archives, uh, does a really good job archiving historical trends based on a date that you provide. So on January 10th, so I'm taking basically today and looking uh, one month forward. Actually, I think I clicked January 11th and just forgot to update the slide. But basically, one year and one month ago, in case the past is going to assist us in finding future trends for 2023, uh, this is what it looked like the top 10 best sellers we had um, some valentine shirts of course video games v is for video games <laughs> selling well in mid-january uh the let's go brandon stuff uh the yellowstone stuff which i would not re recommend selling because of course that's related to a tv show um guess what chicken butt and teaching second grade on tuesday oh don't forget guys tuesday so really it looks like in january they were preparing for february with the valentine's day and the Tuesday 2 22 22 I guess it's gonna be 23 next year though so it won't be as cool all right and remove designs the last segment here we have uh, let's go Brandon's of course we have the shenanigans coordinator more Tuesday stuff mainly let's go Brandon and an M&M's design all right guys if you want to check out podly by the way uh, they did create a special landing page with basically maximum discounts so if you missed the black friday deal uh they basically extended it in case you guys want to check it out for me since i told them hey you know i, I really like your tool here i want to make it available in case anybody else wants to check it out that is a question i get all the time by the way what's the best research tool um honestly like I, i've used a lot of them recently uh i did basically an audit i talked to a lot of the developers to see how often the, the data is refreshed for instance so that when you actually look you're getting real-time data or as close as you can to it podly has does a great job of doing that they actually prioritize the best sellers um, with regards to how often they update them so anyways guys you might find it useful check it out the links in the description that'll include the various discount codes so check that out guys also down there a link to my full print on demand course in case you want to copy my exact approach to print on demand it's all outlined in my course and i'm working on redoing the entire thing by the way behind the scenes in my spare time i've got a great private community as well that i referenced earlier if you want to check that out it's linked in the description guys thanks for watching please like and subscribe and i'll see you at the next one